Hey guys, what's up? It's Mandy Andy. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're actually going to be talking about Disney's abandoned water park called River Country. And I've actually really been wanting to add to my Disney series that I'm having here on my YouTube channel. It's a little playlist that I'm putting together about all the different Disney videos that I have made and that I am still making. So Disney's River Country was Disney's very first water park that they opened. Now you may know that they have two water parks in Disney World right now and they are called Blizzard Beach and Typhoon Lagoon. Blizzard Beach is a water park that is kind of like based upon the aftermath of a blizzard. And then of course, Typhoon Lagoon is the same. It's the aftermath of like a typhoon. So they are both very different water parks and they are themed just like River Country was. And so River Country is still there. It's just very, very abandoned. And a lot of people have gone through and made videos of exploring the island because River Country was made on an island. So the most of the photos that you're going to see of the abandoned part of River Country is actually not my picture. I wanted to give credit to the photographer. I found them online and they're amazing pictures. Um, his name is Steph Lawless and I don't know if he did this for like a video or an article or what but I found them online and they are just phenomenal pictures so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert them in this video. So Disney's River Country actually opened in 1976 and it stayed open for 25 years but it was abandoned for 15 of those 25 years and it was completely in Intact for those 25 years until they drained the 330,000 gallon pool that they had there and completely filled it with cement. And I have no idea why they filled it with cement because that was probably very expensive to do. But people say that it may have been because standing water attracts a lot of mosquitoes and the Zika virus was a really big threat. And so they just decided to fill it, but that has not been confirmed. And Disney Associates have actually said that it was not because of the virus whatsoever that they filled the pool. But I'm guessing it has something to do with like the mosquitoes and West Nile virus and things like that because everything is a threat to Disney, of course. You never want to hear about anything bad happening in the Disney parks. So the largest pool that was a part of River Country was called the Upstream Plunge Pool. And that was a clear water pool that was on, I believe it was the right side of the park. And then on the left side of the park was kind of like a open cove, like a lagoon kind of a thing. And it was designed to look like it was connected to Bay Lake, which is the body of water that the island is surrounded by. But a lot of people didn't know that they actually didn't connect and the water from the little cove on river country was actually higher than the level of water of bay lake and so they kind of had like a a wall in between the two so that they separated the two because it's just not safe to swim in bay lake and disney has had that as a rule for a really long time they didn't have it in the beginning but of course, you know, probably because of legal reasons, they had to make it a rule that you could not swim in their natural bodies of water in Florida. And so going back to the cove area pool, they would actually pump the water so that the two bodies of water would never hit each other. So just some background information on River Country. It was actually six acres. And like I said, it was on an island and it was a part of Disney's Fort Wilderness area of Disney World. And if you've ever been to Disney World or you know a lot about Disney World, you would have probably heard of Disney's Fort Wilderness area, which consists of the Wilderness Lodge, which is a deluxe resort that Disney World offers. And then they also have Disney's Fort Wilderness, which is basically a camping site where you can pay, I think it's like $89 a night or something like that. Just so you can bring like your RV or your tent and sleep in like a kind of wildernessy place. And so they designed River Country off of kind of like a Huckleberry Finn kind of vibe water park. And so they wanted to kind of fit it in between like that Fort Wilderness feel. In 1977, the price of the tickets there were actually $4 for an adult. And then in 2001, once gas prices started getting really crazy because of war, the price actually went up to $16.91, which is pretty much equivalent to $23 nowadays, which isn't really that bad. That was pretty cheap back then. But of course, having the war and all, it was really hard for them to keep open because the Magic Kingdom ticket sales were going down and Disney did not know what to do about it. So River Country actually hosted a 
all American water party, which was from April 6th to September 6th. So it was a really long period of time where it was considered where it was like themed that 4th of July was every single day. And so it was kind of like a 4th of July kind of like party themed thing. And so it actually brought in a lot of people and they had all of the characters like Goofy and Donald Duck and all of them. They would have them come in swimsuits and actually swim with the guests, which was really weird in my opinion. I literally cannot imagine being in like a soggy, goofy suit. I don't really, I don't think that would be fun. I feel like it would be kind of creepy to have like a Goofy swimming with my child too. I don't know. But anyway, so the All-American Water Party would also have like barbecue and things like that. So it brought in a lot of people who wanted to kind of experience an everyday 4th of July feel. Now, unfortunately, Disney did have some deaths. So in 1980, there was actually an amoeba outbreak. And amoeba is like a bacteria that lives in a body of water that travels into your body and messes with your nervous system. And so there was actually four people that died in 1980 from an amoeba outbreak. And one of them was an 11 year old boy who had actually swam in Disney's river country and came in contact with the amoeba in Disney's river country. So it was reported that I guess he had been staying with his family in Disney World and he went to Disney's River Country and that was the only place he had swam right before he died. And so since they knew that it was from River Country, they looked into how it had happened and it looked like it traveled into his nose and ended up in his brain and it destructed his nervous system and his brain. However, they actually remained open for another 21 years after this incident. So some people say that they closed because that this boy died, but honestly, I just don't believe it because they stayed open for another 21 years and that's a really long time. On top of that, there were two people that actually drowned there. One was a boy that was 14 years old and the other one was a boy that was 13 years old, which is pretty crazy because I feel like Disney would have lifeguards on watch no matter what and would never let that happen, but I guess it just did. So that makes three deaths in Disney's River Country. So no one actually really knows why they closed. They just decided to close and leave it abandoned for 15 years. And then they finally, you know, permanently closed it, which is very odd because 15 years is a really long time frame to keep something just kind of like sitting on the back burner, like, oh yeah, we have this theme park, but it's closed for the next 15 years. I also thought that it was really interesting because I did not know that River Country was open for 25 years because I've been to Disney World like three or four times now and I've seen it before because I've stayed in the Wilderness Lodge and I've taken one of the little ferry boats across Bay Lake into Magic Kingdom and when we were passing it, I saw like little water slides and stuff. And I was like, what is that? And we had ended up asking a cast member and they told us that it was a water park that had been abandoned. And so I was thinking maybe it was abandoned during construction. Like they didn't have the funds for it, something like that. And even going into filming this video when I was researching it, I thought it was, you know, abandoned just maybe a couple years after they made it. And I thought it was because of the amoeba outbreak. And so after I started researching it a little bit more, I was like, that's so weird that they stayed open for 25 years because I never heard about it. 25 years is a really long time and I've never heard about it. But then again, of course, they were closed for 15 years of the 25 years so that it was still there. But it's just so odd to me. Like, it's so weird that Disney has these like water parks and places that were open and they were like a great place to go and people loved it and then they're just like oh no we're gonna close it that's it or things that they start constructing and then they're just like oh no don't have the funds like it's just crazy to me because Disney is such a big company I'm so surprised that they don't like do something with it you know like I could totally imagine them taking everything off of that island and then, you know, making it maybe another water park, one that's more safe, if that was even the problem and if that's the reason why they closed it. But I don't know, I guess we'll never know why they closed Disney's River Country. It's very, very weird. It's very interesting. All I know is I wish that I could have experienced it because I absolutely love like the idea of their Fort Wilderness area. I love staying in the Wilderness Lodge. It's just an amazing experience and I would have loved to go into the water park. This looks really cool. Like if you look at the pictures, they're very like eerie, but it looks like there's 
like a little playground and stuff, you know, it just, it looks like totally something that like Huckleberry Finn would have, you know, I don't know, like gone to, <laughs> even though he's like a fictional character. Like, it's just like, I don't know. I, I like the ambiance of Disney World itself. So when I'm in Typhoon Lagoon, like it really feels like a place that had a typhoon and this is like what's left over. So it would have been amazing to experience something like river country. So I know that it's completely against the rules to go onto the island and, you know, trespass to film videos, but I would love to do that. I love watching videos of people doing it because they like go at night and it's so creepy and weird because there's like caves and stuff on the island too because it's like a it's like a whole, you know, theme park, but it's like a water park. And Disney's so crazy, they always have like weird hidden cast member places and stuff. So I would definitely recommend checking those out here on YouTube as well. But that is all the information I have right now on River Country. If I find anything else, I will definitely update you in the description box below. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it. And like I said, if you didn't watch the video on Disneyland deaths, I'll go ahead and link that video below. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.